Stephen Hawking says that we must colonize another planet to ensure the survival of human race. We face many problems on Earth, such as overpopulation, man-made disasters and expansion of sun. To overcome such problems well, we have two solutions. They are colonizing Mars or or to settle in space. To make the impossible possible, we have come with this fantastic project. Athava. According to the fourth Veda of Hinduism Athava means knowledge. Athava will be located at the Leo orbit. Leo means lower Earth orbit. Athava will be launched from the Earth which finds its way to Mars. When it reaches Mars it orbits the planet and makes sure that it's safe to land. Now let's talk talk about Athava's structure. Combining industrial sector, agricultural sector, living sector, water purification and air supply sector, transportation sector, fuel sector and the control room we form Athava. With the help of all these sectors Athava makes it possible for all the humans to survive until we land. Coming to the living sector, the living sector is of 1002 meters in height and 150.3 meters in diameter, that means we can assume a 20 story building in that space. Because this is an opaque closed space we can't have sun rays traveling through. So we need artificial sunlight. Using centrifugal force we can form pseudo-gravity which will help residents to feel as if they are on Earth. Now let's take a look at the agricultural sector of Athava. We grow all types of plants and crops in this sector. The soil in Athava is kept in the same form as on Earth, bedrock, subsoil, topsoil. The plants here are given water in the form of drip irrigation methods, so that sufficient water reaches the plant. Industries with the height of 901.8 meters and diameter of 100.2 meters respectively. The raw material from agricultural sector is sent to the industrial sector from which this raw material is converted into food and sent to the living sector. We will also manufacture satellites to construct the required towns for colonization. Control Room This is the head of this complex and complected machinery Athava. Its height is 901.8 meters in height and has a diameter of 100.2 meters. We have all the communication facilities from Athava to Earth and vice versa in the control room. We here use quantum communication technology for high security and safety. Coming to the water purification and air supply sector which has a height of 901.8 meter in height and 100.8 meters in diameter. The water is purified using nanotechnology which helps in purification of all the liquids produced. The process of hydrolysis is used to produce oxygen and hydrogen molecules. Transportation This sector is in the shape of hollow cylinder. Fuel storage is located between transportation sector. Liquid hydrogen is stored in humongous cryogenic tanks. Materials All major sectors are built with magnesium alloy. All the attachments are made with tungsten.
electricity solar energy is used as major source of power. These panels are mounted above and below other major sectors. Optical communication techniques are employed. Information is transmitted as pulses of light in the form of electromagnetic waves. Communication of Atharva to Earth Quantum communication is a field of applied quantum physics. It is closely related to quantum information processing and quantum teleportation. Its special feature is high-end security ensuring no loss of information. Finance the funding can be obtained from different countries and private organizations.